All right, Tom Trento here in Jerusalem with the United West film team on May 24th, 2017 the 50th, 50th anniversary of the reunification of the city of Jerusalem. 50 years ago, this was under Arab control. Today, look at the message on billboards all over Jerusalem. Trump, make Israel great again. Trump, make Israel great again. Trump is a friend of Zion. President Trump has been here in the last 72 hours. He took this town by storm. The message the Israelis are sending to President Trump, help us here, move the embassy, we're seeing that sign all over, stand with us to fight the jihad. That's the message for President Trump from Jerusalem on the Reunification Day 2017. What were your thoughts about uh, President Trump coming to Israel? I think after Obama, I think it's great what he's doing. Yeah. And you're from England and you like Donald Trump? Well, again, <laughs> he's, he's pro-Israel pro-England. So that's, as far as we're concerned, that's, that's good for us. Yeah. Do you think there'll be peace between the Arabs and the Jews in, uh, in your lifetime? I, I, hope, so. I hope so. I don't think so at all. I mean, well, we wish to, to believe that, but I don't, I don't, I don't think that sure. it's going to be any peace because they don't want it and we always try to um, to push harder for peace and we always give in from ourselves. And our military forces are very moral and like we're not from their side, it's, I don't think that it's possible from their side. As long as they're controlled by a terror organization, I don't think there can be you know, an effort to make peace. As long as the Hamas is the ruler, He's talking about moving the embassy from that location to Jerusalem. Well, yeah, the same, yeah. Um, you know, it's the ancient capital of Israel, and it needs to be brought to date. Yeah, it's, it's, the, uh, it's the place for the Jews. Where were you from? Uh, I'm from Belarus. And uh, you live here now? Or? Yeah, I live here now. What did you think of Donald Trump coming to Israel? About him? I don't know. I think he, like, um, quite loyal to Israel. That's why I think I'm loyal to him. You think there'll be peace in the Middle East uh, between the Jews and the Arabs uh, in your lifetime? And it's a lot more than they've got now, as you well know. It's, it's all of what Jordan as well, isn't it? In fact, we come from Britain and we've just been watching the, um, the Forsaken Promise and what Britain did, what we did, uh, to rob, you know, uh, uh, the Jews of 80% uh, of their land. So that's, we're kind of embarrassed about that. So, yeah, get some more back, then it's great amen, for us. We amen. feel better. <laughs> all right, good. If, you, if you had a message for Donald Trump, what would it be? Awesome. Uh, uh, no, have the courage, Donald, to move the embassy and um, put your colours on the mass. That's what I would say. You think uh, the, the Jews and the Arabs can ever have peace? No, no, of course not. Why not? I live in one of them. I understand that it's like... It's something that is... Uh, they're brought up with this. It's very difficult and... Um, Maybe, but it, it's in a long, long, long future. I, in the closest future, it can be like this. They hate us. Okay, thank you. Uh, you guys have been around this part of the world uh, for many, many years. Uh, what is your opinion on a two-state solution? Do you think there's a possibility of that? The first thing that happens, the minute an Arab leader comes forward and it says, we accept that there's a Jewish land that Israel belongs to the Jews, there's a Jewish in our presence, then I think we can talk people until they accept that. While they are still teaching their children in kindergarten to hate Jews, not hate Israelis, hate Jews, dumb Jews, not hate not they don't say we must hate Israelis, they say we hate the Jews. And to me that is the upsetting part about it. What do you think about President Trump? Um, now I think it's uh, it's better than Obama. Now, do you think that there will ever be peace between the Arabs and the Israelis? No, and I think that Arabs will not do peace ever because uh, it's something uh, 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 mental. I don't know if I saying it right, but they don't really want to do it. Uh, they they don't have a good reason for doing that. I think it's. it's 
the, the mission of their life, just to, to kill Jews. Uh, Donald, I would say this to you. You look like a true, true friend of Israel, and I'm proud of you.